Hello, I am Rahish. Today I am discussing about India's Akash Prime Missile. On 27th September 2021, the Defence Research and Development Organisation (DRDO) successfully tested the Akash Prime Missile from the Integrated Test Range at Chandipur in Odisha. This Akash Prime is a more advanced version of the original Akash missile. Akash is a medium-range mobile surface-to-air missile developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program (IGMDP). In this program, a total of five different missile systems were developed, namely a short-range surface-to-surface missile Prithvi, a short-range low-level surface-to-air missile Trishul, a medium-range surface-to-air missile Akash, and a third-generation anti-tank missile Nag. At the time, Agni was conceived as a re-entry vehicle that would eventually lead to the development of India's nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missiles. This program was headed by India's former president, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. Akash missile has a mass of nearly 720 kg, a diameter of 30 to 35 centimeters, and a length of 578 centimeters, and it can carry. 60 kilograms of high explosive fragmentation warhead with an operational range of 30 kilometers and at an altitude of 18 kilometers at a speed of Mach 3.5, that is three and a half times the speed of sound, which is more than 4,300 kilometers per hour. Each Akash missile costs nearly two crore rupees or five lakh U.S. dollars, less than half compared to others. These missiles are developed by DRDO and manufactured by Bharat Dynamics Limited. These are deployed by both the Indian Air Force and the Indian Army. This new Akash Prime missile uses an indigenous active radio frequency seeker, which improves its accuracy. Its other improvements ensure much more reliable performance under low temperature conditions at higher altitudes. In this test, the missile successfully intercepted and destroyed an unmanned aerial target. This year was a very good year for Akash missiles because the Akash next generation, Akash NG, was successfully tested three times: first in January, second, and third time in July 2021. This will have a range of 70 kilometers, more than twice the current range. As India continues on its way towards becoming the next global superpower, Indian scientists are ensuring that every equipment needed for armed forces is available to them indigenously to protect the nation from any threat. Thanks for watching my video.